Towery, a toolkit for building native desktop apps with front-end web technologies and a lightweight Rust backend. It allows you to use your favorite JavaScript framework to design a UI, then package it for Mac OS, Windows, and Linux from a single codebase. Since the dawn of time, JavaScript developers have been searching for the perfect way to build cross-platform apps. For the last decade, Electron has been the leader in this space, which provides a backend in Node.js and a front-end with the Chromium browser. The main criticism of this approach is that it results in a very large executable file that consumes a lot of memory on the machine. Towery takes a different approach by replacing Node.js with Rust and Chromium with libraries like Tau and Rye to provide a lightweight web view. The end result is a smaller bundle size and more efficient memory consumption. It also takes security very seriously and provides an isolation pattern to prevent untrusted scripts from accessing the backend from a web view. The Towery API provides a secure way to access native functionality like the file system, HTTP, and system notifications. It's secure by default and the only way for the front end to call backend code is when the developer explicitly allows it. To get started, install Rust and Node.js, then create a new Towery app. Choose your favorite JavaScript framework to build the front end. It looks identical to a web project except for the source Towery directory. This is the back end for your native desktop app, inside of which you'll find icons that will be displayed when the app is installed. The icons are referenced in the Towery config file, which also contains important information like the bundle identifier, as well as build settings for Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. Now, the entry point for your backend is in the main.rs file. From here, we can customize the experience on the native operating system. By importing the menu types, we can create a custom native menu that will work seamlessly on all platforms. In addition, we can define code in Rust that can then be invoked from the JavaScript front end, and it has its own custom event system that allows complex message passing from the front end to the back end, and vice versa. Now, in the front end code, a variety of native APIs can be accessed with JavaScript. For example, we might import write file from the file system, then simply bind that function to the click event on a button. And now the app has the ability to create a file on the user's hard drive. After that, we may want to show a native dialog, which we can accomplish with a single line of code from the Towery API. And access to any API method can be controlled from the allow list in the Towery config file. Now to compile and build the app, run the Towery build command. This will create an executable in the target directory. Congratulations, you just built a high-performance native desktop app that can run on any platform. This has been Towery in 100 seconds. If you want to see a full tutorial, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.